two supermodel identical twin Dalmatians modeled for dog food packages. One dog is very happy and has millions of followers in dog book, while the other isn't. Now they go to Dr. Bright's lab to understand this difference. Dr. Bright, can you explain to us why my twin sister has millions of followers and I only have three? Aha, I know. The quality of your images differs so much because of the white base layer. But both white layers have the same opacity. Opacity alone is not enough. Look. We discovered that the same opacity doesn't necessarily mean the same quality. Measuring a good white ink laydown is like measuring color. Historically, people looked at unidimensional measurements such as solid ink density. However, to truly explain color, three dimensions are needed. Opacity is just one to describe white, but it doesn't tell the whole story. These two photos printed have the same opacity. However, one is significantly better due to the amount of pinholing seen. We identified two other dimensions, mottle, which quantifies macro imperfections, and graininess, which represents micro imperfections. So, DuPont developed the Easy Bright Index to combine and quantify these three dimensions into a single number. When Easy Bright screens are used, this index is higher and the white is better. I didn't know that. Using Easy Bright screens, we optimize opacity, mottle, and graininess to achieve a higher quality. Two prints can have the same opacity but a very different Easy Bright index. We use the Easy Bright screen to print your image on the bag. This is why I look bright. And I so dull. And one could actually use less ink to get a better white coverage. Less ink means lower cost. Printers use high volume analoxes or multiple white ink stations to get a good ink coverage. This is not needed if easy bright screens are used. A thinner ink film also means less drying time, which translates to faster press speeds. Great, let's do it. Change how you see white using easy bright screens. <laughs> 